Hi, 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 hi. Hey, are these monitors actually worth it? And what are the things that make the price higher? In this video, I will discuss all that in technical level. And in the end of the video, I will tell my personal perspective and personal kind of review on how my experience has been with these monitors for the past three, four months that I've had them. So subscribe, because we're going to be friends. <laughs> uh, let's get into this video now. So these Genelec 8331A speakers are active monitors, which means minimal distortion. And it means we can have very clear and very precise representation on what we are actually listening to. And this is one of the biggest points on why they're worth it. So all the technology, everything we are going to talk about in this video is about the representation, what we're hearing, making sure that the original signal in this space can be heard as clearly and as authentically as possible. So when we have clear representation of what we hear, we also reduce ear fatigue, which means that we can mix longer, we can do our mixes faster, music production faster, because we are not getting tired and confused, which usually happened with a lot of my old monitors and headphones is that you just go to the point you're like, oh, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> this is so shit. Actual song might not be shit, but you might just be tired and you heard it way too many times and that is ear fatigue. So with these ones, you have actually less likely to have that because you work faster and you can focus longer. Yeah. That's the big thing. You can just focus longer. And because active circuitry, we can also do an easy calibration for the monitors. They have their own GLM calibration, which literally blew my mind when I saw it for, for the first time. And how much, like, without the calibration, they were already great. But then I put the calibration on and I was like, Calibrating compensates for your room's negative acoustic influences. So using this program, you can actually analyze it left and right, speaker separately. But you can also customize it how you want by yourself. So example, if we want more low end, if you want boost the mid, high. So it's super customizable for any space and any kind of purpose. So example, if you have certain speakers, like you always mix for a club that has a certain frequency response and you want to make sure that it, you hear it how you would hear it in the club, then you can adjust it like that. And you can do different profiles. So you don't always need to adjust it again and again and again. This is a very good camera angle, isn't it? <laughs> and adding acoustic treatment is necessary for any professional listening room. So my panels are from GIK Acoustics. And you can see a video of me setting them up, choosing them from the link down below. So I'm going to link it. There are many calibration programs out there, absolutely. But as I said already, a couple features about GLM. I think that GLM is taking it a step further. Obviously, it works perfectly with these monitors that I have. So I'm kind of biased in that way. But on the top of the normal calibration, you can also get a super, super detailed grade report, which is a PDF. So after you calibrated your speakers, it's going to be sent to your email and it details the performance of the speakers in the room that you're using them in, in a really super duper detailed way. So this means that you can analyze your whole room. You can analyze where to put the panels on the walls, how the sound works in your room. And I think that is a great feature that I really like because it's super detailed. So a couple months ago, Andy from Genelect was visiting my old studio. We actually set up the speakers. We also calibrated them. And then we analyzed the whole room and what they did in my room. So we were actually super impressed on how far on the low end we can still hear frequencies in this kind of like small home studio setup. Then we added a subwoofer because there was this massive dip in the low end. So we added a subwoofer into the setup and it made it even better. So we went so far on the low end, like 30, 20, 30 Hertz, that it was really incredible. And I haven't heard that in my, my, my studio ever before. And that was really impressive. Super, super boomy, like super boomy. So of course, with these speakers, you pay for the advanced technology that Genelect has 
developed, but of course the beautiful, beautiful design of it. Because the case of these speakers is made of, out of aluminium, aluminium, it allows the case to be extra, extra thin. So about three to four millimeters. So it makes it super durable, but also it makes it so that it doesn't have any resonance. And resonance is of course like extra color and extra frequencies and stuff that we don't want to add into the anything that we listen to so this case combined with all the technology that is inside of it such as diffraction enclosure technology as well as laminar spiral enclosure technology i'm gonna link all the technologies down below so you can check them out because of all of that these speakers can actually create very uncolored and very accurate like super accurate representation of what you hear. So you can trust what you hear. This also then allows the very, very wide frequency range. So also we have fewer off axis and cross axis coloration because of the co coaxial, 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 I think, coaxial, this word, design. <laughs> There's a wider sweet spot. So, so if I'm usually here where the sweet spot is, it means that if I'm slightly here or slightly here or someone who's just kind of listening to the, to the tune behind me, there's less coloration. It's still relatively accurate representation of what's happening there. So you don't need to necessarily just be here. You can kind of move around. And as a musician, obviously, we might go to the keyboard or we might go and get a guitar and we might just jam around. And these monitors allow us to do that. So I like that. The technology that Janelle speakers use is called, I need to check that out, minim minimum diffraction coaxile or MDC technology. <laughs> I'm going to link it down below so you can go read about it. This is also why the front of the monitors look slightly different. It does create a smoother frequency response and improves the directivity control in the critical frequency range. So we can do that. I go here. Oh, I can go here. I go here. I go here. We can go all around. So my own experience with these speakers in the last three to four months. First, very, very big change has happened, which is that I need to work on my tracks. I would say three to four days less. So I mixed Himalaya single tea and milk uh, with these speakers and mixing and mastering it with these took so many days less. So usually I kind of mix and master then I'm gonna leave maybe a week or a couple of weeks between and listen again. Now I felt like I got the feeling, you know the feeling when you're finishing a track where you feel like, this is good, this sounds good. So you're trusting what you're hearing. And I got that feeling like so much faster that I have ever had before. When you get ear fatigue and you start being confused and tired of hearing the same track over and over and over time, you start usually also blaming yourself that oh, it's not a good track. You start kind of hating the track because you're hearing it way too many times. And that didn't happen as well. I did the track, I mixed it, and then it was done. There was not all that confusion, blaming myself, insecurities, slight anxiety and <laughs> crying moment. That, that didn't happen. So that was a change. <laughs> So a couple practical things is that when I want to turn the, the speakers on, I just turn on the GLM app. So I just put that on and it just turns the speakers on. So I don't need to go up on the back and push the buttons, which means that I might move them if I need to press the buttons physically. So I just turn on the app, it turns on the speakers. Huh, love it. And also I can just go here, SAM system power. So when I turn it off, you can see that light just went off. So the app turns then on and the app turns then off, which means faster workflow. I don't need to faff with them. Simple but effective little trick that I really like. Also, look, they just turned on because I turned that on again. <laughs> Love that. I can customize different profiles. So I have one profile when I'm standing up with my desk. and one profile when I'm sitting down. So I'm, it's calibrated for both positions, which is great. Also, what's been really practical for me 
and again reduces the ear fatigue is the fact that in the program I can level restriction the speakers already to what I like and I can also do presets for those. So it means that automatically I will never accidentally put the speakers too loud or I can never damage the speakers because they automatically have a system that if if it goes over certain decibel it will shut them off it goes into the state of alarm alarm it's too loud too loud too loud too loud so there's a system that saves the speakers for not breaking and saves my ears for not breaking either again I feel like you're paying for these details and third thing i would say that i like is that they are really pretty <laughs> that's kind of my review so i've been extra happy i've been really really pleased and it has changed the way i work completely because i feel like i'm just leveled up the way that i can mix and i can hear things and it's just so detailed so detailed i hear everything now in it and that is beautiful. So Jedelec has done also a video of calibrating and conversations about home studios on, on their YouTube. So go and check that video out from the link down below. Also discussion continues in my Discord. So I have amazing and kind Discord community that is just the kindest group ever. So please go and join it. it you can start from one pound in a month if you want to just join the Discord. Otherwise you can come to our monthly challenges get accountability for your music making artistry and just get feedback from me and the community and it's we have listening parties and everything it's great so come there okay see you again later love ya